All right, this is Remo, your friend. Once again, I'm here to let you know why you should stop treating the aged badly. Why you should stop treating the aged badly. But before then, I want to ask you this question. One day, where will you be? If you start from somewhere, remember, you are going somewhere. Yes, I want to do this little demonstration before I continue. This is what a purple tree. And remember, this is the fruit. But when it started bearing fruit, it is from a process. The process one is, this is the what? The little, it has started growing. And it develops up to this stage. Remember, it will grow up to a stage and it will get ripened. When it gets ripened, what happened? Finally, it will get rotten. If it doesn't got rotten, somebody will take it off a day. Or something will terminate it a day. That is the question you need to ask yourself. So if today you don't treat someone good, if today you continue to treat people in a bad manner, remember that one day that fruit or one day that thing is going to disappear on this earth. There is nothing that is going to remain permanent on this planet earth except the word of God. Now, I want to ask you this question. If the agent all over the world has been treated in a bad way, people have been holding the agent responsible in Africa, incident that they haven't done, nothing they have done wrong, but they hold them responsible, calling them names witches and wizards. People go ahead by killing the aged, be it man nor woman. Why should it be so? You do all these things and you call yourself a Christian. You don't talk good to the aged. Let me tell you this. One day you will also grow to that stage. Nobody is going to be forever and ever. When they give birth to you, as I demonstrated earlier on, one day you grow to a stage. And when you get to that stage, remember, you will go to your grave. Try to treat the aged in a good way. If you continue to treat them, some people go ahead insulting the, the aged that they are the people responsible for their life that they cannot succeed. People continue to insult the aged in a different way. Why should you blame the aged for holding or for killing you or for destroying you or for doing certain things? Stop holding the aged responsible for certain things. If you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, wherever you find yourself, you have to start taking actions for yourself and start being judging people all of a sudden that they are the one responsible for your life or they are the life or they are the people responsible for the things that is going on in your life as an individual you need to ask this question yourself it is not easy for you to just stand and start doing something. It takes the grace of God. So if you today, they give birth to you and you grew up up to this stage, it is by the grace of God. Therefore, don't blame anybody. Continue to intercede and pray. Even if some people are the ones responsible, you claim responsible for your life, try to pray for God. God is the one that eliminates people. I want to urge you that you should stop blaming the agent. For you rather to be blaming them, I will urge you to advise the agent. Give them home care. Go closer to them. Advise them. Talk to them. Remember, one day you will also be in their shoes. If you don't treat them good, somebody will treat you also bad. So 
try to treat the agent in a good manner. Don't blame them for what you don't see them doing. Because a day is coming, you also be like them. Treat the agent in a good way, no matter your background. If their clothes are dirty, take and wash them. If you know you can do so many things for them, try and do it for them. They are aged. Remember, you also get to that stage. Stop maltreating the aged. Stop holding them responsible for what they are not doing. I am pleading with you today forward and today going that anywhere you find yourself, try to treat the aged in a good manner. If you treat them good, God in heaven will reward you. And one day, you will also be in their shoe. Stop treating them badly. Remember, it is a stage. When they get back to you, Bible let us know that God knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. When you came out, yes, today, where you are, how do you know? Tomorrow, you are going to get to a stage. You don't, you won't even know. So try to treat everybody good, especially your mom, especially your father. Some people go ahead to throw ways to do so many bad things against their parents, biological parents. I am pleading with you from today onwards that you need to stop that lifestyle. Treat the agent good and the blessing of God will be sufficient in your life. Yes, this is an advice to you. I am always reminded and I urge you to do this and God will reward you open thank you all god bless you god bless you and if you want to eat this pop all right you can inbox me try to read my inscription box all right i'll be putting some of the things over there and try to also subscribe to this channel god bless you